We created this gaping hole in the front of the project house because we wanted to fill this space with a stunning entryway that would create a lasting impression and blend well with the home's Mediterranean design. We went with a steel, glass, and wrought iron door from Solera. When it came to choosing the front entryway for our project house, we needed to consider the same three things you need to consider for your own home. It comes down to curb appeal, energy efficiency, and security. As far as curb appeal, the front entryway needs to be proportional to the size of the home. We have a very large home here, so we have a very large entryway that was built for us by Solera. Nothing looks worse than to have a big home with a really small, squat little door. On this home, we also went with the intricate pattern to add more appeal to it. We didn't want just a flat door or a six panel door. We wanted some design on this home to really make it pop when you first walk up. Besides seeing it from the curb, this is the first place that all your guests are gonna walk through. So this is where you make that big impression. We also needed to think about security. We went with the solid steel door. Solera makes all of them out of steel. So it's gonna be hard to get through this door. Plus we went with a tight pattern. That way if anyone comes up and breaks out the glass, they can't fit inside the door. There's nowhere in this pattern below or above where a human could actually fit through and get inside the home. The last thing we needed to consider was energy efficiency. We have steel and steel does conduct hot and cold so we needed to do something special. In between the panels of door, it's all filled with foam. That's gonna make it very energy efficient. Also, since the opening is so big, we have a lot of glass. We needed to go with a double pane glass to make that as energy efficient as possible. You can get different patterns on the glass as well. Here we have a rain pattern. On the inside, we always go with a flat, clear glass. On our project house, we have a Flemish pattern on it, and we're clear on the inside. But again, what's important is it's double pane to make it more energy efficient. By taking our time to select the right door, we got curb appeal, we have security, and we have a very energy efficient entryway. The door's frame is steel, and the decorative panels are hand-forged wrought iron. Melina Gutierrez is Solera's marketing director. We normally use a 5 8 inch square wrought iron. It's all hand-forged on the design area. That's what allows the greatest creativity in our doors. We can do from very simple designs uh, to very ornate. This one's going more towards the ornate design, so there's lots more scroll work and curves around it. But again, that depends on what the homeowner, the architect, and everybody want to accomplish in order to achieve the look that they're looking for. She says there are several advantages to using steel doors for monumental entryways. On the steel doors, lots of advantages over the wood. Um, first of all, it's sturdy, very strong, so you don't have any height limitations on it. On this unit, we did a 15-foot unit. It's about six feet wide. Another advantage with the steel is that it's very low maintenance. You don't have to worry about repainting continuously like you would on a wood door. The installation of a steel and glass door takes place in two stages. First, the steel. The crew sets the door's outer frame in place. Then the door frame is secured to the house frame by these mounting brackets that extend from the hinges. The crew chisels out the drywall so that the bracket will set flush against the wood studs that frame the entryway. Then the crew secures the steel door frame to the house frame with heavy duty screws. The doors are then prepared for mounting. Rubber weather stripping is attached. Then the doors are lifted onto the hinges. The installers must be sure that everything is perfectly level and plumb so these massive doors will swing easily on the hinges. Once the doors are installed, it's time to raise the transom. The crew uses a manual forklift. And once the transom is in place, it's secured to the frame of the house the same way the door was installed. Then the two sections are spot welded together. This is the last step in the first phase of installation. When it's time to install the glass panels, the crew prepares the panels on the job site. Weather stripping is attached. Then the panels are attached to the hinges. This is a key feature of the Solera door. The hinge panels allow the homeowner to speak to visitors without having to open the door, which is good for security. All our doors are made with operable glass panels that come latched from the interior. And this offers several advantages. One is that we're able to prepare for double pane glass and so that helps with energy efficiency. Another one is security purposes. You're able to talk to the person on the outside without actually opening the door. And then the best one is for ease and cleaning. You're able just to open and clean it without having to clean from the outside around your ironwork. 
Gas lanterns also add a touch of distinction to the entryway of any home, and we're installing Solera lanterns at the entryway of the project house. These lanterns are designed to turn on and off automatically. Our lanterns are unique because it has the electronic ignition setup. Uh, all our lanterns will have a back plate, which will be part of the design, so it will not actually be on this like the model. It has an electronic system, which receives a signal from the photocell when it's dark or from a light switch, okay? So automatically causing the igniter to click and come on. The igniter also serves as a safety sensor because it senses a decrease in the temperature, and that causes the safety valve to close off if for some reason the flame is blown out. The automatic ignition also allows for ease and convenience in that if it is blown out, it'll automatically reignite. You don't have to climb up a ladder to reignite it. For more information about Solera's distinctive line of doors and lanterns, visit them on the internet at solera.tv.